the seven seeds have lost today. The second seeds were match point down. And now on this Foro Italico evening of battle, we'll see the men's and women's number ones. First, though, we'll see the pair who are many people's tip to win here. It's time for Coelho and for Tapia. A very good evening to you then from the Foro Italico up here in the north of Rome. Simply glorious historical surroundings for Coelho and Tapia. Everyone has been excited about this and they take on a legend of this sport in Juan Martin Diaz and the youngster Airo Bautista. But there's so much buzz right now around Coelho and Tapia. People are so eager to see just how they perform here. Diaz and Bautista, though, the old and the young, will try and pose as many problems as they can. And these conditions, I was talking to some coaches earlier, great levelers in the world of paddle. It does make life difficult for the favourites, as we've already seen today. It would be a seismic shock, though. Un altro grande Coelho applauso and per Tapia get in trouble. And here they come. Guayo at 21 years of age, King Arthur. And Tapia, the 23-year-old here. They've had so much success this year so far. So much excitement when the partnership was announced and they haven't let anybody down. Can they take home this Premier Padel Major here in Rome? There's every chance that they can, but they need to start well here. l'incontro Giuseppe Iacobucci Getting those final preparations right has just cooled down a little it's still very very warm but these are better conditions certainly for these players There in the black and the white, and Diaz, well, what more do you need to know about him? Simply a legend who is playing for the fun of it. Time for the toss of a coin. Inside, serve and ends. And then we can get a warm-up underway. And this eagerly awaited match underway. here of the blue skies that particular shot and there's the blue court and there's a sense of this 20 by 10 and just how tough the challenge is these warm-ups this week of all weeks very very important because of what the conditions do to the court and what they do to the balls as well the bounce can be a little irregular the balls very very lively and if you combine all of that with this tough physical conditions can be a great leveler there's Arturo Coelho then been thrilling this season so far born and lives in Valladolid playing Padel since he was seven years of age was a very good football player as a young man as well but he's just got better and better on Monterey Last year with the legend that is Bella.
goes from strength to strength alongside this man, Agustin Tapia, born in Catamarca in Argentina, lives in Barcelona. And warming to the task really well. They call him the Mozart of Catamarca. He's such a classical player. And they come with real pizzazz and star quality. Man on the left of your picture there knows all about winning. Did so for many years, along with Velastagin. That partnership ended, would you believe, nine years ago now. And here's his partner, Bautista. Learning plenty. Turned 22 yesterday. A happy birthday to him for yesterday. And he and uh, Goenaga lost against Stupa and Dineno, the eventual winners in Canta. But here's... Juan Diaz, not much more you could say about El Galeguito, who's number one for 13 years, along with Bella in those glory years, won 170 of 191 finals, unbeaten for nearly two years, albeit in different days of Padel, but it's still an extraordinary achievement. So that sets the scene. We have the old and the young against the young. Won so many junior trophies. Bautista had that classic Padel upbringing. They're very, very proud of him in Andalusia and more specifically in Ben Almadena. He's almost got the freedom of the town there. Played at the racket club and they followed his progress with interest and now delighted to see him playing alongside this man two left and right combinations as well which tends to open up the court from that drive position for both Diaz and for Coelho Looking forward to seeing the level here of Coelho and Tapia, just to see how they start. Can they be put under any kind of pressure here? Or will they just make it very, very smooth once they hit their rhythm? Coelho does eventually want to go to university, he says, Lives in Valladolid, but gets to Madrid two or three times a week to train. Lives a very, very hectic lifestyle in this modern world of Padel. The life of being one of the young stars, but what stars these two have been in 2023 so far. Many real experts that I've been talking to see these two and Galan and Lebron as those to fight for the title. I'm sure there are plenty with much to say about that. There's our VAR official, Ricardo Eger, making sure that he's got everything in line there, and that's what he will be looking at. Pictures of pretty much every single angle, certainly every one that could be contentious anyway. Final stages now of the warm-up. It will not be long. They're taking just a little bit longer this week as they've watched others struggle. They've seen the conditions. Admittedly, the struggles of Stupa and Dineno. Well, Stupa wasn't quite right, felt ill, had suffered in the heat. It wasn't just about the court. It was also about the brilliance of their opponents, Leal and Diestro, who'll still be ruining their failure to put them away. What a win it would have been for them. But uh, having seen those struggles, these seeded pairs will be very, very careful. And don't forget, later on, Ariana Sanchez, Paula, Jose Maria, the number one women's seeds, and then it's Lebron and Galan who follow them against uh, teams that they should beat fairly comfortably, both of them. And then at the end of the evening, Orsi and Laguno.
against Polo and Casali. Plenty of Italian interest, why not? Try and pack the place out if you can. So it's just about time. Final preparations, final words from the coaches, and then we can get things underway. So here at the Foro Italico in Rome, our second Premier Padel Major of the year. Coelho and Tapia, many people's favourites to win here, take on the youngster Bautista, just turned 22, and the legend Diaz, 25 years his senior. a very novel, very stylish way of keeping yourself cool and in the shade. made their way here after a long working day in this blistering heat in Rome and it will be Coelho they actually won the toss and elected to serve which is rare in this sport left-handed Coelho to get us underway and to do so convincingly what else did you expect They'll certainly want to make a statement here. There's the power again, finding his range instantly. Coelho just lost sight of that, I think, just turned on it. See why they work so well as a partnership. Tall and loose slim Coelho. Squatter, tougher figure of Tapia. Even Coelho not tall enough to reach that. So the blistering start and I just gain point. And they have it. Much of it won through that. Coelho smash, very, very accurate right from the start.
And that's where we are. And they'll look to apply pressure straight away to the Diaz serve. He's seen everything and more. Good touch there from Diaz. was positive but nothing Bautista could do the crowd appreciate that the angle was a nightmare and actually the hand was raised by Tapia it wasn't really intentional Enjoyed that, didn't he? Batista defending desperately in that corner and they're just too strong. Break point here for Coelho and Tapia. is the break for these brilliant youngsters. First time of asking. Tapia at two love. Tapia just swiveling gloriously there, picking his spot. Strike, he was constantly searching for perfection, these two. Six minutes of match time, they are absolutely racing. Great recovery from Tapia. 
Ask so many questions and they force the errors. Flying start from Coelho and Tapia here. And that game was won. Notice the speed at which they're going about things as well. They come out here like a pair in a hurry. They want to conserve energy if they can. They're very aware of the conditions and the fact that it's a game a day, match a day, that you're going to hang on to as much energy as you can. And with respect to all of their opponents, that's what these top teams will be doing. Oui, monsieur Zell, le tribunal. Très bien, Zell, le tribunal. Cheap points here for Bautista. Love three. Put away there for Tapia. moment. I guess thought he had a chance there. Yes. Thrown away. Thought he loved here. Very, very loose. Yes. Terrific play yes. from Coelho. Another break point here. Fourth seeds in a hurry. Thank you. 
Feels like they're starting to get going now. Bautista and Diaz. Just wide, and now Bautista has a point to hold the first game of the match. And they do enough. Can he get there? No. Yeah, they looked at the length of the serve, but it was okay from Kuwait. Oh. Grimace there from Diaz. Batista thought he was positioning himself well there, but the ball died on him. Misbehaving. Well, they're racing through at the moment here. Cueo and Tapia. Four games to one in this opening set, just 13 minutes of playing time. Constantly striving for perfection here, whether they're leading or not. Snatching at that. Have to try and stem this tide. Diaz looking to do just that. And it's a good, right start to this service game. Well, of all things, service game 
One to love. Four games to two. Yeah, just making it look like they're a level above. Tapia looks to the heavens there. He overthinks this. Simple error. Prepared there from Tapia, the distance perfect. Went for direction there with the smash. And frustration there from the legend, the veteran Diaz. Rayo and Tapia move to within a game of this opening set. Bautista serving on their last service game to love. To look down at the pallor there. Complete miscue. Right on the ball, oh, wasn't it? That backhand volley. Bautista. That was excellent from Diaz. Plenty of slice on that backhand. But now, 5 3 in the first set. The way to serve from. Chastising himself there. Yeah. 
The march of the number four seeds continues. And Kaweo with that kick smash sets up three set points. And they grab the first one. Match time of 22 minutes. They flew through that set. And it's going perfectly to plan for Coelho and Tapia. Six three then that first set mountain to climb for Bautista and Diaz. <laughs> So the opening set goes the way of Coelho and Tapia, six games to three. And they'll try and jump on their opponents here and break in the first game of the second set. There are the stats. Batista and Diaz didn't come close to earning a break point. 30 winners to 19. And the reason for four unforced errors to two really is that they have been forced into doing too much so far, Coelho and Tapia. So that stat looks a little bit skewed. <laughs> Need a strong service game at the start of this second set. This Bautista Diaz pair. Very clever with those smashes, both of them. They don't always go for absolute power. They do what's necessary, sometimes direction better. Diaz forward positively now. Oh, look at that. The crowd love it. It doesn't lead to anything, but the crowd thrilled by this from Tapia. He put the uh, follow-up out, didn't he? The apology there from Tapia. Kawhi misses. Big miss that. At 30 all. Oh, yeah. 
beautiful from Tapia. Look at that, the technique. Even another break point. And again, this time, Correo. And they break right at the start of the second set. And now, there's a danger they can just run away with this. That was a bit wild. It's just power and athleticism and not making many mistakes. Turn Diaz there. Miles wide with the Contra Pared, the post shot off that back wall. Love to second set, set down, Bautista to serve here. Lovely control there, and again, the crowd enjoy those bits of play. Moments like this that really wow them. Touch of flamboyance. Controlled by Bautista. And then one of those. Simple, unforced errors on the stretch with the volley. Oh. It's a bit of good fortune, but it was still a great bit of subtlety there from Coelho. was perfect from Coelho, but it was uh, really good from Diaz right from the back of the court. Oh. 
Tu ai etapa de cum mă și așa de Let's take a look through that service hold from Bautista and Diaz still a breakdown. Right now they'll take everything they can get. One second set set to love. Tapia serving here. it as well Diaz into open court there doesn't miss many does he Coelho when he pounces Again, for Coelho, Tapia is so aware that he has that weapon next to him. Two points for 3 1. wide from Bautista the match time is just 36 minutes I cannot overemphasize just how quickly they're moving and how quickly they are trying to get this done and they're helped by the shade here now certainly a lot cooler wide
Read that all the way and arrived with perfect timing. It's what people want to see, that athleticism. Really good play from Bautista. He knows they're up against it here, but he wants to show just how good he is and what he is aiming to be. They're trying to enjoy themselves here. A bit more consistency here from Bautista and Diaz. Starting to gel, maybe. Remember the young and the old, 47 and 22. It's remarkable, isn't it? Diaz with great experiences, of course, with Bella famously, but Pablo Lima, Maxi Sanchez as well. Love that approach from Diaz too. You can see the smile on his face and that idea that he accepts his own reality. He knows where he is. He knows that quarterfinal is a good result these days. But having been so dominant, he still wants to play. You can adjust your reality in that way. Great attitude that. Three two with serve. The second set with the break. Coelho to make it 4-2. They do have this effortless way of moving up and down the gears, it feels, Coelho and Tapia. Oh, brilliant. Contra Pared round the back of the legs there. The old trick from Diaz, but... Too strong. It's one of those games, though, where it's almost as if they sleep a little, then wake up. We're moving quickly to the net, and it doesn't always pay off. touch and Tapia just adjusts and fizzes it low and they move to within two games of it here and it doesn't feel as if Bautista and Diaz have any answers Mm 
Great length on those lobs from Tapia, but followed by the error. Kawayo knew he'd under hit. Wind out there as well. It's very hard to judge those lobs. Nothing wrong with that, though, from Bautista. The kick smash to finish things off. 4-3 with the break in favour of Coelho and Tapia. The story of that game. To veer between mega switched on and then just a little bit loose. They know they're in control. Ahí me voy para atrás, no me meto, porque ahí, ahí nos va para abajo, dale, ahí nos movemos, ahí hay que dejar que rebote alto y enganchar antes, antes o ya compare, hacemos lo que queremos. Well, they're enjoying themselves on a lovely, sultry Roman evening. Four, three, second set with a break. Tapia to serve. Through it so quickly to move to within a game of the match. They know they're going to serve for it. Acted there, just that lack of uniformity, and uh, coaches say conditions like this do level things out. They haven't really done so here. Well, what a stretch that was from Diaz. No. <laughs> Fantastic reactions there from Coelho. Clever disguise there from Coelho. Hoists it this time.
Bit of respect there from Diaz. As they bring up two match points here. to loft it down the middle, then goes long. And then darts into the net. And the job is done. 48 minutes of playing time. 6-3, 6-3. Aquayo and Tapia. Barely stretched here, really. But boy, what we did see, the crowd loved and they were mightily impressive. A lot to enjoy about that display and not really that much that Diaz and Bautista pairing that still finding their way in the sense that they're a pair. Obviously Diaz has seen it all. I'd love to hear what he's got to say about playing these two for whom there are such high hopes in this tournament and indeed for the future too after their shimmering year so far. Special night of action to come with women's number one seeds, men's number one seeds getting themselves into this tournament but many people's favorites they played their way into it in our first game of this evening session and they were brilliant we will of course hear from the winners but here are these statistics three of eight break points one that's all they needed 57 winners to 36 is remarkable as well they played within themselves but they were still very, very good. I can see that Coelho is down there with Barbara Vitantonio, and now Tapia is going to get there and join him in this crowd. We'll be able to hear from the winning pair there with our very own Barbara. Adesso sì, sono già pronta. Con i vincitrici, nel frattempo un applauso chiaramente per Juan Martín Díaz e Jauro ba Jairo Bautista. Decía, pensé che non si stavano ascoltando in tutto il stadio, però empecé in italiano, así che mm, passamos al español, chicos, logicamente, e poi vamos a hablar algunas palabras en inglés. Felicitaciones por este partido, felicitaciones por la temporada, Agustín, Arturo, realmente están haciendo un trabajo impecable, increíble. No es fácil, Agustín, mantener este nivel desde el inicio de la temporada. Ustedes lo están consiguiendo. Contanos cómo están y cuáles son esas primeras sensaciones de estar aquí en esta pista central, en este maravilloso estadio. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal, Barry? ¿Cómo estás? Eh, sí, la verdad, como decías vos, no es nada fácil mantener el nivel y sabiendo que ahora está todo muy, muy parejo. Estamos muy contentos de, de la temporada que estamos haciendo, estamos muy contentos de estar a, acá en Roma, es mi primer premier panel de Roma, así que disfrutándolo a full y viendo todas las gradas que no terminan nunca y esperemos estar muchos días acá. First of all, he's so glad to be here because it's his first Italy major of Premier Padel and they've been doing really a really a good work because it's not too easy to maintain this kind of level since the start of the season. Arturo. Ahora sí. Buonasera a tutti. Qué bello vedervi. <laughs> Qualche ciao, grazie, qualche parola in italiano per iniziare, Arturo. Ciao a tutti, mi è un molto piacere tu, tu giocare in questo stadio. Eh, nada, la verità che è Barbara, felice, felice di stare in Roma, cada anno che veniamo a, a questa città, a questo torneo, è, è meraviglioso. L'anno passato fu una fiesta del padre, lo disfrutamos un montone, speriamo che questo anno, in questo incredibile stadio, che è enorme, possiamo vedere le gradi piene, già sia chi sia, chi sta giocando, io credo che per il padre va a essere molto importante ver este estadio lleno 
va a ser una imagen increíble y ojalá que sábado y domingo pues se llene y nosotros nada, felices de ganar nuestro primer partido y a seguir pensando lo que viene para estar en esa foto. He's so glad also to be here in this amazing stadium for all of you, with all of you guys, con Tutti Boy. Um, Arturo, evidentemente el arma más poderosa, una de las armas más poderosas que tienen es el juego aéreo. Del otro lado de los bancos, lo que le indicaban a los jugadores justamente era jueguen por abajo, porque por arriba, arriba digo, es imposible. ¿Siguen trabajando día a día para potenciar esa arma aérea? Sí, bueno, eh, al final también las condiciones de, de, de Roma, de la pista, nos ayudan un montón porque hace muchísimo calor y la pelota sale mucho. La verdad que, bueno, eh, felices. Eh, la verdad que tenemos un partido durísimo contra Jairo y Juan Martín, que para mí Juan es, es una leyenda y siempre que juego contra él pues es muy especial. Y nada, eh, contentos del partido que hemos hecho y como te digo, siempre intentando mejorar un poquito para, para seguir aprendiendo. For sure, their overhead um, plane is their probably their best weapon. Thank you so much. Gracias, mu muchas gracias chicos. Nos vemos en la siguiente ronda. Rimarrete qua, público velo di Roma, público velo di Italia, perché qua continua l'azione sul campo centrale. Thanks very much indeed, Barbara. Yeah, there will be much more action from center court. You see the Stadio Olimpico in the background there as we reflect on Coelho and Tapia winning it in straight sets. Depeche mode. Depeche Mode are playing in the Stadio Olimpico tonight, but this crowd here at Centre Court at the Foro Italico, they just can't get enough of Coelho and Tapia and the brilliant sport of Padel.